sustainability, you know, has been, you know, part of a public discussion in Phoenix, you know, longer than it has been in, you know, in many, in many other places. And, and particularly words like resiliency. I mean, resiliency is a word that was not used in New York. Uh, until, I mean, I know exactly when it started to be used. It started to be used the day after the power came on back, you know, after, you know, after Hurricane Sandy. Um, you know, I think that, you know, the vulnerability of, you know, the vulnerability of cities to kind of natural limits are, you know, because of the evident use of resources in Phoenix. I think, you know, one of the reasons that people ask the question, should Phoenix exist, right, is because of you know, the evidence of the need to use resources, the evidence of the interaction between the Phoenix built environment and the natural environment is just plainly more evident here than it is in other cities. And I think that that's, you know, created, you know, ironically more of a conversation, you know, here, whether it's gotten to an answer, right? Um, you know, I think that this is, these are questions that cities, you know, across the country are really struggling with, particularly in an era of metropolitan fragmentation, 